Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my review of the new World War One mod update. Like, that just came out, I think yesterday? Maybe even today? I'm not sure, but it came out either today or yesterday, so it's very new. And I gotta say, um, I judged this game too soon. I, I did. Um, this mod definitely got me back into this game. Um, I decided to leave it alone after I, you know, quit my last conquest. Listen to this music. Actually, hold up. I'm sorry, I, I have to turn that off because it might be copyright. I'm not sure. It might be, it might not, but I'm just gonna play it safe. Even though that song was fucking amazing. I'm probably gonna listen to that after I finish this. But... Yeah, he updated this, and I'd say it's one of the greatest updates for a game that I have ever seen. He really improved on this mod, and I hope that it gets a lot of people back into this mod. Like, for me, like I said before, I quit after I quit that conquest, and this update got me back into it. So, let me go and show you guys what I'm talking about. So, here I have a conquest going on with Albania, okay? I was gonna go and say Albania has to be my like my oh, one of my favorite countries to play as in this game. All right, there we go. I can turn the audio back on. But here, as you can see, I am playing as Albania. You know, it just looks like a regular conquest. But you start noticing some different icons. Maybe, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I want you to take a look at the units that I have down here in Turkey. You see how this, um, rock artillery, it has, like, a, um, radiation symbol next to it? Take a look at this. Freaking chemical warfare has been added to the game. Just like real World War I, there is chemical warfare in this mod. And it does a hell of a lot of damage. And it even does, like, an animation for the smoke, which I love. And for this mod, he also added in, like, um, basically skins from World Conquer 3 to better fit the time. So over here, the mortars are replaced with, um, field artillery. And field artillery has a lot more range, like it actually did. And as you can see here, there's a freaking train. Alright, let's actually find an empty city. Okay, okay, Belgrade. Let's take a look at some of these new units, okay? He did remove a few, but trust me, it's for the best. <clears throat> so right here, you have infantry. And what infantry is, is it's basically just guards. It's just guards. Here in the machine gun, it is the regular machine gun, but I discovered that um, it has a different look to it. And over here, you can actually make like physical bombers and fighters that you can move around the map. Instead of just selecting a city and selecting, you know, bomb and then, you know, just clicking on a city and then bombing it. You can actually take control of this bomber or fighter or whatever. And you can move it around the map. You can bomb places. You can just move it all around instead of having it be restricted to that one city's range. Which I really do like. And over here, the jewel of this new update, in my opinion at least is the armored train. I'm not kidding you when I say this man literally took the time to add trains into this game. Let's make one. That is a freaking train in European War for ways and gentlemen. It's beautiful, I know. I do have some regular cannons, but that's just from where I was already doing this conquest. So yeah, that isn't anything new I made, I just had this for a while. And over here, let's see, will it show? Oh, crap, it doesn't show the, um, new machine guns. Hold up. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't show it. Yeah, as you can see here, the machine guns have, like, a different look to them. Huh. I guess just for more, like, I've already been in this. So, you know, some things don't, like, match up with the update. I guess we'll have to do a new conquest for the stuff to, like, perfectly match. And over here, you have... You guys remember this, um, Russian experimental tank? I don't exactly remember what it was called, exactly. That was very rhetorical. Um, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's a Russian tank that they experimented on during World War One. 
And the premise was that there were basically two wheels in front and a thing in the back to keep balance that was also served as a wheel. And it had, like, this cannon in the center. Now, um, the idea did get scrapped because, um, you know, the weight was kind of off. But it's so cool they actually added them into this model. Let's see what kind of tanks they actually serve as. Alright, just regular tanks, okay. So yeah, it's a Russian tank. Like, he didn't just, like, copy-paste, you know, any old tank here. He actually took the time to find the design for the, I don't know, giant wheel tank that the Russians made. And he added them exclusively for Russia. So, yeah, right here, right here, you can see the new, um, machine guns. Yeah, they look a lot different. I don't know why they don't look different for Albania. I guess just because I'm playing as Albania. I really don't know. Let me turn that volume down real quick. So yeah, and um, hold on, let's actually, next turn I will go ahead and show you guys something else that he added. As you can see, you can also make blimps, which is freaking awesome. So this mod definitely got me back into this game. I did drop it, but I'm going to be playing a hell of a lot more of this. I freaking love this new update. BJ, if you're watching this, you have outdone yourself, good sir. Like, this is some, like... Like, you can make your own game. I, I really do mean that. You are so awesome at what you do. But anyway, enough kissing ass. We're here to review. So here, for the mortar, we have the chemical... I mean, not mortar. For the rocket artillery, we have the chemical launcher. And as you saw, what it does is it fires gas. That does a hell of a lot of damage, and it also does, like, um, surrounding area damage. And right here, you have siege artillery, you have the heavy artillery, and you have the light artillery. And, I don't know why they don't do the animation for me. I, like I said before, I've already been playing in this conquest for a while. So, probably just as in doing that, because, you know, I've already been doing this conquest. I've already been making the units that were in, like, the past, you know, the vanilla game. So I guess it just doesn't register for me in that I need to do a new conquest. Hold up, actually let me go into a new conquest. Let's see if this um is actually true. Okay, so we've moved from Europe and now we are in the United States Civil War. Yeah, um, I just knew that they started out with a good amount of money, so I decided to go with this conquest. So let's actually see. No, it's just a regular cannon. I wonder why. Huh. Does it, um... Yeah, it registers, like, some stuff for them. I guess the light artillery just isn't... Just doesn't work. Hmm. Let's actually skip a turn so that I can earn more money, and let's actually try to make a different cannon and see if it's, like, the vanilla. I want to see this. Alright, is there an upgraded one? Alright, let's look around. There has to be an upgraded one. Yeah, yeah, here, here. Okay, so let's actually try making heavier. Alright, yeah, yeah, alright, so it is just the light artillery. Okay, so... The new animation, the new skins actually do register. Okay, that makes me happy. Now, let's actually go over to my other conquest and test out some of the new weapons. Alright, let's go down here to Turkey, because that's where the majority of my units are. So, you already saw, you know, the gas firing and all that. Let's go and see if I can get um, a good tank. I mean, not tank, a good train animation. Let's see. So, as you see, it is like a uh, machine gun. Basically, what it is, it is a armored machine gun that is very mobile. It's basically what it is. I still find it awesome that you can move the trains across water. I don't know. I just find that interesting. So yeah, there's a new mod. And actually, let's go over to the campaign real quick. Because this is a review, you know, we have to check out everything. Viva la France. Alright, let's go to Viva la France. And let's go to the Battle of Marne and see if it, you know, moved over to campaign. And it did! He even added it in campaign. You know what, good sir? 
props to you. You have put a hell of a lot of effort into this mod. I can see that. You actually... Oh my... That is awesome. You actually took the time to add it in to campaign for people who actually play campaign. You are awesome. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There is my small review of the World War I mod update. Now, you might have noticed down in the description that it there's a link just to a video instead of an actual mod download. Well, there is a problem with, um, alright, let me just go and say. I tried to get the link to the mod from his video, and I couldn't just copy the link to the mod. It wouldn't work, I guess, because I can't copy-paste people's descriptions. I don't know. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the link to the video down in the description. And it's just the first link in the description of that video. And I just want to point out, this is an update, so I don't know if this will down... Like, if you don't already have the World War One mod. I don't know if it'll download something separate, or you if you have to have the World War One mod. Because, you know, this is an update, not a separate game. I don't know. I think that it might download as a separate game. Okay, that sounds awesome, but I have to turn the volume off. I don't want to get a copyright strike. That's happened to me a couple of times on this channel. But anyway, yeah, this has been my very short review of the new World War One mod update, which I am thoroughly impressed with. You know what, BJ? For all your hard work, I give you a 10 out of 10, a solid review. That's the highest I can give you, man. I don't know how else you can be satisfied. So yeah, I hope that all of you give this update a try because... I mean, I'm loving it. I think that he has greatly improved on this mod, and I can't wait to see what he comes out with next. But anyway, I'll, I'll quit kissing ass. I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.